Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. It's time for our Full Circle. Recently, Weight Watchers announced a new app called Curbo for children ages 8 to 17. The app uses a traffic light system that puts food in red, yellow, and green light categories. Of course, the green light foods are fruits and vegetables, but 78,000 people have signed a petition to remove the app, saying it is geared toward weight loss and could hurt a child's relationship with food. What do you ladies think about this app for children? I kind of see it on both sides, to mm -hmm. be honest with you. Uh, health should be should always be at the mm -hmm. forefront of everything. We know that, uh, especially in the African American community, we suffer from uh, hypertension, high blood pressure, congestive mm -hmm. heart failure, All of it. and a lot of those things are stemming from the foods that we that we eat. Um, on the flip side of that, I would I would say too, it, it could be. This needs to thoroughly be explained by parents because mm -hmm. I would hate for if I had a child for them to be so obsessed with this mm -hmm. that now they are uh, utilizing it as it, it, their self-esteem is wrapped up yeah. in it. And I, I wouldn't want that to happen and they're losing their confidence. You make mm -hmm. extremely great points and here's a, here's a deeper question. What index are they using anyway to determine overweight? I've well, always yes, had it because... I, I've go had ahead. an issue with that. You know, mm -hmm. you go since I was a child, you go to the doctor and they say if you're this height, then mm -hmm. this is how much you should weigh, otherwise you're considered to be obese. But as women of color and yes. children of color, yes. our bodies are different. Yeah. And so what is, what is that teaching your child without you being able to narrate yes. that, listen, it's okay to be a little thicker than a snicker in mm -hmm. some places, mm -hmm. um, and that's just the way our bodies are built. I, w I definitely think that we should teach them health because health is wealth, but mm -hmm. at the same time, we got to be able to control and narrate mm -hmm. how they're, you know, digesting this app. Yeah, I don't think yeah. it's bad, it's just... Right, and I, and I think just as a parent, I think that early on I made a lot of uh, mistakes because food was like, don't eat that, you can't eat that, you can't eat that, and then it just, food became this thing that they were afraid of instead of enjoying. And I think it had an adverse effect because I was so overly trying to make them healthy that it made them afraid to ask for things that hmm. kids just want to do. No, and I so they would go to their hurt. grandparents' homes or go to other people's house and literally just go or just on like trying to mm -hmm. binge on mm -hmm. things that I wouldn't allow them to have. So I used to, so I had to take a look at myself mm -hmm. and say, what are, who's, who's more afraid of what? Because sometimes when you place certain fears um, on your children, those things continue to manifest because you feared it. And so mm -hmm. what you think about becomes. Yes. And so um, I had to like really retrain my whole thought process when it came to them and food. And now I think I've gotten a lot better. They understand it. I'm going to buy a couple of cookies. And I want to I want to credit my neighbor too. shout out to Lynn Fry. She's like, hey, man, let them girls have some cinnamon mm. toast crunch, okay? Yo, you know, <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, because at some point right. you gotta say, let a kid be, be a, a kid. kid. You yeah. wanna teach them the right way to go, but at the same time, they gotta live a little. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, when they are out on their own, they're gonna lose their minds. Mm -hmm. And that, that applies so to everything, not just food. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Okay, but obesity is a problem though. Mm -hmm. Obesity is a huge problem. Kids are not going outside anymore. There's no real recesses anymore. Kids are always on their phones, and I'm glad that it's on an app because it doesn't shame kids if they're if they are all on a food program, yes. then they're able to look at their phones, okay, this is good, this is not good, this is a good option, this is not a good option. Mm -hmm. Because when we are talking about these treats, treats are becoming more of a norm than the fruits and vegetables. Right, right. Because when if you go into a kid's lunchbox now, you don't see apples and oranges, you're seeing like Cheetos. a bunch of bowls. Right. You're seeing, yes. you know, a bunch of Snickers and Snackers and, you know, mm -hmm. Rice Krispies treats and things like that. Hot Cheetos <laughs> You understand, ooh, that's delicious too. Some but what I'm Cheetos. saying is, Cheetos. kids, they're not having a healthy, balanced meal and mm -hmm. they these bounce meals are being disguised yes. as bounce meals, and it's really not. Yeah. I think the app is a great idea, mm -hmm. if you ask me, because guess what? Recess is gone. Yes. We have a recess. Exactly. You don't get to go outside and play and lose these calories. Absolutely. They're gaining even more. Because they come back home, they don't go outside and play anymore and ride their bikes. They're playing video games. Oh my God, I'm glad you said that. It is, I have to fight my child to get her to go outside and play. Really? It's like a punishment. I, when I was a kid, that's what we you wanted did. to go out from go the outside. time the sun came back up to the smell lights like came outside. Outside. Yeah, yes. like these kids, Pitties they want to puppies. stay inside and watch YouTube all day. Yes. That's what they yes. want to do. Here's something, the CDC says childhood obesity is a serious problem and affects 13.7 million children aged Ages two to nineteen two? years 
old. And according to World Health, World Health Organization, childhood obesity is one of the most serious public health challenges of the 21st century. Because like you said, they're not going outside. Yeah. That's what we did. We went outside, we went outside. That's what your entertainment used to be. Now you have to have appointments. Like my, ch my children have, they have a trainer. They have, um, they do, they do uh, their sports. So uh, like you gotta. I applaud so, that. Mm -hmm. You have a trainer for your kids. Yeah, mm -hmm. I want them to, if she wants to be a great softball player, this is at 10 years old, this is when the girls differentiate mm -hmm. themselves from being good mm -hmm. or great. So we have her a trainer so that she can be the very best that she can be. We want to set her up for greatness and I hope, I'm glad that God has positioned us to be able to do that yeah. for her. Mm -hmm. yeah. so, so I heard you say at two. So as a parent, mm -hmm. wouldn't you be charged uh, charged with the, the, the notion to say, you know what, I'm going to train my kid in which I want them to go. So yes. you yourself would go outside with them and play play kickball, dub a dutch yes. uh, run, two, three, red light, whatever. Yes. It is. <laughs> Just really get out there with your children and be active and turn them on to that where they're having fun, they're feeling free, and they're feeling excited, and then they want to do it with their friends. And the, yes. I say as a parent, I don't think that's And they all. emulate yeah. what they yeah. see. Like yeah. my husband well. and I, we work out. And so they know that's a priority for us. And so then it has become a priority for them. So um, this was a great conversation. Yeah. Is it over already? Yeah. Yes, it it is. Is. Okay. We got a whole nother show. <laughs> yes. We got, we got, we got, we got more play. show to do. Yes. Yes. We got more show to do. Are you, let's go play red light, green light. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> but before we do that, uh, we need for you to send us your thoughts at Sister Circle TV.